Y'all gonna piss me off if you keep on watching my videos without giving me a smile. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week, my beautiful Aquarius. I also just recently did Aquarius your spirit guide messages, tarot messages, as well as your ancestor tarot messages, which I'll leave links to both of them over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like, my beautiful Aquarius. But when it comes to any of my tarot readings, keep in mind, Aquarius, be sure to rely on your intuition, because put it in perspective, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take care of the... <laughs> I saw one of the cards I just pulled for you, Aquarius, and I almost just went into, like, reader mode because I was about to be like, yes! Um, good card, so. Um, what was I saying? Take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, my beautiful Aquarius, because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. Are y'all just as interested as <laughs> um, hearing about the reading or excited about the reading as I am? Um... If you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you though, Aquarius, I would really love it if you were to take the extra time to support my tarot channel by leaving me a like and subscribe, um, because it does help me out a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take that extra time to, um, I'm struggling with these cards now, uh, to support my channel in that way, Aquarius. Um, also, let me know which cards resonate with you and how they do in the comments below, because that's how we keep up with y'all, is through the comments, right? Um, and then finally, my beautiful Aquarius, I just want to say and remind you, and well, really just say, I guess, um, I don't feel like any tarot reading, any tarot card should be making decisions in your life. It's, I feel like a tarot cards, tarot readings are here to give you perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your life, not making decisions in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards, not any tarot reader that you receive a reading from. So really beautiful cards Aquarius my gosh I love it though uh with all that in mind let's get into your tarot reading for this week my beautiful Aquarius let's see what's going on with you so which cards will you even want to show you I guess I'll show you the card first that I <laughs> got so excited about uh showing to you guys at the beginning it's the awakening card number 12 Archangel Gabriel uh equaling to three for numerology Aquarius so write that down three is my favorite number um I could gush about three all day but you know, you can look that up later to see how it correlates with the reading. I'll read this card out to you though. This says, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, and it's important to be yourself, Aquarius. So um, definitely Aquarius, it seems to be like this, um, I don't know if you, I just heard that you feel like you're not up for the task um, a little bit, Aquarius, where you feel like maybe you're just questioning your ability almost um, in your head but you're being pushed to be bold and make the first move with the cardinal moon aquarius so definitely there's almost like you're i'm getting this con like with the theme of your cards it's just like you're being you're there's a lot of ideas coming to mind aquarius there's like an idea specifically it seems like there's one specific idea in mind that you have that you want to do but there's like a little bit of um unsureness to it right maybe you feel as if like you wouldn't it's too uh maybe you think it wouldn't be possible or maybe you feel like it it's too difficult to accomplish, right? Um, but with this card saying, be bold and make the first move, the Spirit's really pushing you forward and being like, no, it's going to work out, Chris. There's a reason why you have those thoughts, so just do it, right? And that's kind of the theme of these cards coming in here. I'll address these two aces, because aces, as a tarot reader, Aquarius, um, aces, when you see several aces in a reading, I associate it, at least, as like a, like a positive affirmation to do something. So um it's one of those things where it's just like if someone comes in and just like oh should i do this it's like a re, a resounding yes in terms of like uh in a positive way it's not like a yes being like oh is this person cheating on me and it's like no not in that way it's more like a, should i do this or should i not you know being like uh would this be good for me or you know it's like a resounding like yes go ahead and do it so we have the ace of discs in here for you now these this ace of discs is a card of you making uh, the most out of a situation, or you, uh, how do I put this Aquarius? It's like, don't mind me, I'm like <laughs> putting pillows around me because I'm cold. Uh, with this, it's kind of like, um, 
you're given like a fruit you're given like an orange honey i'm not sure where i'm taking this until like we're in real time right now you're given an orange aquarius and it's just like yeah you have this orange um but it's up to you to peel that orange to get the food inside right so it's just like that orange being that idea that's the ace of air coming in here that's the idea is that orange apparently i don't know why i thought about orange i'm cra i've been craving oranges recently actually aquarius so not that y'all care or asked for it, but <laughs> this Ace of Air, though, this is a card. I'll read it off as well. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth in a situation, and a challenging beginning. Now, this is a similar theme to the Awakening card because I do feel like with the Awakening card, it's like a beginning. It's a potential beginning, I'll say, right? You have the potential to have a new beginning because the Ace of Air represents like new ideas. That's the potential beginning for you. You have this idea in mind um, that could be a very beautiful beginning for you, but you have to be the one to peel that orange, Aquarius. I have no idea why that came into mind as the example, besides that I'm craving oranges, but <laughs> I'm impressed with myself, honey, that I could make that analogy up on the fly. <laughs> um, we have the Emperor card coming in for you as well. Now the Emperor card, <laughs> these cards, like this is my uh, newest deck and it's just like, the art. I love the artwork, but it's also just like male individuals that they draw are just so, but um the emperor card this is taught i mean the card itself says wisdom and passion um this is uh, the emperor usually is a card of proactivity um aquarius and it's just like it's again like that it's that theme of like taking action all your cards have this underlying theme of taking action now and same thing with like creativity some of you aquariuses may feel like you want to collaborate with somebody right i do get that sense um ten of cups coming in as well there is this really push um aquarius aware it's just like ten of cups is like feeling extremely fulfilled and just having <sighs> It's kind of just like having success and just like in whatever way. But in this sense, I do feel like it's just like you want to do things with people or with some type of individual. There's like whatever idea in mind, it doesn't seem like it's just you, right? It seems to involve other parties. And there's like this push to do some type of collaboration, Aquarius, because of this theory of Earth as well. The power of creativity, constant theme is creativity for you, Aquarius. So, mm come on now uh power creativity recognition for high quality work and be a team player right the three of pentacles is that card of collaboration it's someone that you probably see pretty highly of think pretty highly of aquarius and maybe you're just like oh no they wouldn't want to like they would like it's like maybe you you tell them this idea and you're just like oh no they don't want to even hear this idea they're too busy or insert in, insert whatever excuse that you tell yourself right but with your cards, it's just being like, no, be the emperor, take the world, like, be proactive, take action on this, just do it, right? Um, you know, grab that orange, right? You have that orange, you have that idea, now you just have to start peeling it, right? You know, and peeling an orange is really not that hard when you think about it, right? It's just kind of like just taking the action itself. Now, we also have in this, which I kind of feel like is like um, addressing like a different energy, Aquarius, um it's kind of similar to last week as well in your general uh weekly reading um where we have the temperance card the eight of swords as well as the four of swords here this seems to be speaking on your environment more so i feel like it's kind of like a side message in that just it's like your spirit guides really felt necessary uh, aquarius to um have patience at this time it feel it seems like there's um like slouching so i'm like self-conscious about slouching and like being off camera but my remedy is just by bringing the camera closer honey uh it seems to be like some type of something in your environment now granted these cards are graphic i'm not saying you're walking into a murder scene and that's your environment honey but aquarius it's like um something in your current environment that's just like a very emotionally taxing for you um i keep hearing again i think i heard it last time as well it just feels like your home isn't your home Aquarius and it's just spirits being like have patience at this time in regards to this right um they kind of don't want it's like spirit your spirit guys want you to 
get it out. I almost called myself a quarter. Get it out, Velka. It's almost like your spirit guides want you to know. It's just like, hey, we haven't forgotten this situation yet. Have some time. Have some patience at this time because at some point they are going to rectify the situation. Now, again, this is not like the most beautiful or most good card to have when I'm using these examples, right? It's just, just like, <laughs> like I know it's just like carrying a coffin, but with this four swords, it's like, there's going to be healing that takes place. There is this coming together of people again, you know? So maybe in your current environment, right? Maybe like your family or maybe the people that you live with currently, there's kind of like some tension maybe. Uh, it's, it's going to fix itself in some way, whether that's you throughout this, like the, uh, this other part of the reading, right? This other section of that spread, of this spread where it's just like you just get out of that environment right through that success through the successes of this creative idea that's coming to mind for you or aquarius it's just like uh things will just like work themselves out and you guys will just like come go back to being uh bros again go back to being friends again right um where you guys bury the body apparently right <laughs> but um yeah aquarius really um interesting messages i just do want to hone in on this like whatever creative idea that you have that involves other people just just take action on it of course just you know claim this emperor role of that collaborative energy um and be bold and make the first move of course so uh yeah now let's get into my aquarius's uh financial and work situation that's going on what is going on rather with my aquarius's financial and work so we got four cards for you when I normally pull uh, three. I almost said we got four cards for you when I normally pull four. I don't know why I'm always the most loopy for y'all's reading Aquarius. Y'all probably just think I'm just some... Um... Let me not finish that. <laughs> so we have the Eight of Pentacles for you, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Cups. We have the Judgment card. This is the extra card that came out, which is an act action card. Spoiler alert. Um, <laughs> and then we have the Strength card coming in here. So definitely a sense of where um something in your work life is like really triggering something in you aquarius i don't know if you're experiencing some imposter syndrome right now or if you're just in experiencing some insecurities in general but with this i say this because of the strength card coming in this is the shadow work card this is a card of um something being triggered in you that you need to um work through in some way and i see you working through it with this queen of cups here so it's definitely whatever the, whatever is going on in your work situation uh aquarius where it just has you um it just hasn't had it just brings out some unpleasant feelings in you personally i do see you kind of getting out of this state or maybe it's just really like the way you get out of this headspace is by you taking action um and um because with this Eight of Pentacles, this is a card of um, learning more about a subject, going back to school, right? Obviously, it's not always going back to school, but it's just like learning more about something and elevating yourself. That's really another thing, too, is just like elevating yourself. And with the Judgment card, it's about action. And dare I say I'm going to lean into like what we talked about in your first spread, Aquarius, of those creative ideas. Again, there's this like wanting to take action on something, but afraid of... Um, afraid of how you will be received aquarius um afraid of being judged even afraid of you know it's just you don't want to open um it's like you don't want to be excited for something because you don't want to experience the disappointment and so by you avoiding that like your way of avoiding that disappointment is you maybe normally by shutting down but there's just really this push for you to um well, let's see what these uh, clarifiers before I speak too much more. These clarifiers might answer the questions, Aquarius, that you might already have, that I have too. Eight of Discs is following you, by the way. Eight of Discs, Seven of Wands, and the Magician card. Yeah. Okay, Aquarius, you're definitely just afraid of things just kind of like exploding in your face when it comes to, in regards to some type of um something in your work life or some type of project in your life, Aquarius. I do get this sense here 
with this magician and this eight of discs it's where it's just like maybe you're just telling yourself that you're not ready and it's just like every single time you consider doing something new you're just like ah, oh, no i'm not ready i'm not ready i'm not ready but the thing is aquarius the magician is the master of their own reality the magician is the master of all suits right um the magician is definitely ready because the magician stays ready honey so you know, Aquarius is kind of at a, eventually at some point where it's just like, you kind of have to realize those excuses just are not going to work. Um, eventually, like, how long are you going to fall back on those excuses, right? This is a time for you to elevate yourself. This is a time for you to really push your boundaries and push, um, flex your um, creative bone, flex your um just ability of uh what it is that you can accomplish in your work life right i feel like this is just really a time for you aquarius to just um tap into your own strength tap into your own power and to really uh you know it's kind of like as an example of being like you feel like you're going to fail at that marathon but then you sign up for that marathon anyways because you want to challenge yourself you want to like put yourself in a situation where you force yourself to really push yourself to you know turning out winning that marathon um in the end right it's all about action though you know nothing's going to happen aquarius without you taking action towards it in the first place so interesting card so aquarius now let's get into your social situations what is going on with my aquarius's social situations this week we have the seven of swords the devil card and then the emperor aquarius aquarius what is going on in your social situations it's this is like a some devil here now this could be an action or this could be a person um there's something here that's bothering you or something that you don't know quite what to um do with somebody right now i don't know if you're just like not sure about this other person right and like the, their intentions or like you're not sure about how to connect with them and you're not sure about how to connect with them from an empowered place where it's just like um you know going back to the imposter syndrome where it's just like um you want to present yourself as the emperor but you deep down you just feel like the devil right you feel like it just goes back into that and you don't feel as if you are um worthy of some type of connection you could go in a couple different ways let's pull some clarifiers on this actually aquarius see what's up with this what's going on <laughs> emperor is following you again now didn't you have the emperor from before as well i think you did uh, I said before, but more than just these two times. But like, yeah, all about proactivity, uh, Aquarius. This is all about you taking action and claiming. It's like, Aquarius, I just feel like you don't see yourself in the highest of light. I feel like you just don't see your potential. And I know I've said this for you in your other, some of your other readings, Aquarius. So it's just like this common theme. And it's just like, honey, what is it that we need to do to really get you to like put a mirror in front of your face and be like, you are such a beautiful person, Aquarius. I know for a fact that's been like the common theme for your readings now because it's coming to me. Knight of Swords and then the King of Discs. Yeah, it's just like you're almost afraid that you or there's just like these concerning thoughts with yourself, Aquarius, where you just are like, you don't know if you can um, almost, uh, how would I put this? Aquarius, it's just like, you want stability with a person, you want something to work out with some person, but there's just like this sense of insecurity, this sense, of, like, I do just get the sense that it's just like a, how you're viewing yourself um, in, this, in this way, but let's, you know, let's put that to the side, right? You get, you get the point, right? And, you know, I don't need to repeat the message and just being like, you need to like, see yourself in this emperor light, because it does seem like this other person sees you as this emperor. I will say, but if we're going to go to, I do see here like another storyline, um, Aquarius, where it's just like with these two emperors here, you're really like, it's like you're not sure what to do with a person, right? It's like, you're not sure how to go about communicating with the person because it's just like, there's maybe someone in your life recently did something that you care about that kind of bothers you and you just don't know how to go about maneuvering in such a way where you don't come off as like a jerk right but you also just like mm, this part here bothers me a little bit right um 
I'm not really sure how you would handle that situation, right? Because it could be a touchy situation. But with this Emperor card coming in here constantly, um, I feel like you might just be overthinking it as well. I mean, it's overthinking nature just in general. You know, I do, I still stand by, like, whoever this person is, like, and I just say this person, but I feel like just in general, a lot of people see you in a high light, Aquarius. And maybe you just don't even realize that yourself. But, like, once you realize that, like, I don't know. Like, it feels like it's like you don't want to be misunderstood and i don't like and maybe you would be missing like no i don't feel like it like this aquarius like i feel it seems like your fear of being misunderstood is just like a fear with yourself because it seems like everyone else sees you clearly and you actually just are not understanding and seeing yourself um final cards the cherry card the lover's card and the seven of pentacles mm, 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 mm. good 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 cards so definitely what like whether this is like a person or whether this is a situation all good um continue feeding this is whatever it is it's something that's current something that you already have been investing time and energy into whatever it is that you've been investing time and energy into definitely expect to pay out really quick so see the results of it really soon right i do see a lot of um forward movement in regards to something whether it's a person or whether it's just like some type of situation i do see this with this dynamic um quicker progression with this right you may be like um in regards to a person like with this person that we talked about right that i use as an example um maybe like this week is where it's just like you're going to be forced to be put into a conversation with them you're going to be stuck in the same room with them where you have to have that conversation with them that you've been thinking about for a while or yeah it's just kind of like in the sense of where it's just like this week probably aquarius you're going to be put into a situation where it's just like even if you didn't want to make the first move, even if you didn't want to be the one, yeah, you did get the emperor the third time. <laughs> um, even if you didn't necessarily want to uh, address something this week, you're going to um, be put into a situation where you do end up having to talk about it anyways. So um, avoiding it is inev inevitable. But uh, Aquarius, that's the cards that I have for you for this weekly general tarot reading for you, Aquarius. If you did enjoy this reading, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then share this video with a friend that you think might be into my tarot messages. Until next time, my beautiful Aquarius, I want to just thank you so much for receiving this reading, and I hope I can connect with you soon in the future. Bye.